Good day, my schoolers. This is my school channel where we are solving the Jam CBT past question for the subject biology, the year 2016. My name is Abiola. Stay with us because we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school channel. In this segment, we are solving questions 21 to 36. Join me as we solve question 21. The microorganisms that causes typhoid disease is what? Okay, at first, we have the first microorganism. We have trypanosome gabions. Okay, that is what you know that causes the African sleeping sickness. You know, the vector being Cesar's fly. We have um, Salmonella typhi, that is for typhoid. That's the answer. We're looking for, we have option C, we have Entamoeba histolytica. Okay, this causes amoebic dysentery. All right, we have Plasmodium sp, that is for different um, Plasmodium, for Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium ovale, Plasmodium malaria, and what have you. This is just for malaria, okay? This is for amoebic dysentery, this is for typhoid, this is for sleeping sickness. So the correct option is option B, Salmonella typhi. Number 22. A collection of population of all living organisms that exist in a habitat is referred to as what? This is referred to as community. Imagine um, considering a community like you're taking a fresh water pond, you know, you have the microorganisms in there, you have like the bacteria, you have um, other animals like insects, you have snails, you have tadpoles, you have fishes in there, you also have some kind of plants, all these um, thread-like um, kind of plants, okay? So that tells you a community is just consists of population of living organisms in a particular habitat. So that's community. Ecosystem means you are trying to um, bring into scope, okay, the biotic factors, those are the living things and the abiotic factors in a particular setting. So we have niche. Niche is just that part of the habitat that a particular organism live, how it interacts with that particular environment or that particular part of the habitat. So in talking about environment, you know, that surrounding, okay, at least the external surrounding in this context. So the correct option here is option C, community is a, co a collection of population of all living organisms that exist in the habitat. Question 23, the theory of use and disuse of organs was promulgated by Wu, okay? Um, this is done by Jean Lamarck here. So push forward um, the inheritance of acquired traits. So I'm um, talking about Alfred Wallace and Charles Darwin. They co-developed um, co the theory of natural selection with Charles Darwin. Though Charles Darwin is well credited or most credited with the idea of this concept. We have Robert Spook. You are talking about cell theory. So the theory of use and disuse of organs was promulgated by Wu. This is promulgated by Jean Lamarck. Option C. Number 24, the theory of natural selection was postulated by who? It was postulated by Charles Darwin. Okay, we have Gregor Mendel, you're talking about the law of hereditary. We have Matthias uh, Sclidin, this is um, a German botanist, okay, that um, lets us know that plant cells, uh, that plants, okay, they are made up of cells as well. Okay, so we can attribute him to cell theory. Uh, we have Robert's book as well. We can attribute him to cell theory as well. Also, if you remember the law of elast elasticity in physics, but we are here in biology, okay? They are all sciences. So, Robert's book, you can affiliate him with cell theory, Charles Darwin, natural selection, Matthias Clayton, okay? You talk about um, cell theory, so you can affiliate him regarding plants. We have Gregor Mendel, you are talking about law of hereditary, okay? So, the theory of natural selection was postulated by Wu, was postulated by Charles Darwin, option C. Don't forget to use the link in the description below. Click in it takes you to the MySchool website where you can get the MySchool mobile app or the MySchool software for just a token of 1,000 error. So join me as we solve questions 25. Question 25. The movement response of a cockroach away from a light source is what? Okay, just make note of this moving away from that is negative already. Then we have light. So when you talk about light, you're talking about photo. 
Okay, then we are talking about a directional movement. So that tells you that we are talking about taxism. Okay, so this is a negative photo for light, then taxism, directional movement. So the correct option here is option A. Negative phototaxism is the movement response of a cockroach away from a light source. Option A is super correct. Don't forget to hit the like button. Always click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notifications so you can get alerts as soon as we upload the next video clips. Number 26. Which of the following can cause shrinkage of living cells? Okay, um, the living cell shrinking. That can be caused by when the cell is being placed in an hypotonic solution, okay, placing the cell in a hypotonic solution, that tells you the concentration of the solution is greater than what you have in the cell. So there is a movement of water out of the cell. You can refer to that as exosmosis, okay, exo means out, outside, okay, exosmosis to put, okay, so movement of water from the cell to the environment, okay, that's because it's being placed in an hypotonic solution. When it is placed in an hypotonic solution, the cell tends to absorb water from the surrounding or from that solution into itself and the cell swells, then it bursts. Okay, so isotonic solution, the concentration in the solution and in the cell is the same, so there's no movement of water molecule. So the correct option here is option D, which of the following can cause shrinkage of living cells, that is when it is placed in an hypotonic solution. Option D is very correct. Here we have 27. The ability of chameleon to change its color rapidly is an adaptation for what? It is an ad adaptation for escaping detection, okay? You can have this kind of color change in certain grasshoppers. During the wet season, you see them have this um, color of green that blends with the vegetation that is greenish at that time where there is enough rain. And when it comes to dry season, where the vegetation is already getting, is getting dried, the color changes to brown. And probably after a kind of fire outbreak or something, uh, it can have some kind of black color just to blend with its environment, that color change. So we have grasshopper, chameleon also, um, it does the same thing, okay? As it moves from one background to the other, it can change its color to match that of its environment. So it can escape detection from predators. So option D is super correct. Question 28. The function of the red head in male agama lizards is to do what? Okay, it is to attract uh, female lizards for mating purposes. You know, um, lizards are very territorial, territorial. You know, in a particular territory, you have a dominant male, and that male somehow has a sole right for mating. So it displays these um, bright colorations to attract the female, and the female responds by arcing its back. Okay, then all of those shows are. Uh, sexual displays for sexual courtship or what have you so the correct um, option here is to attract female lizard for mating purposes so the function of the red head in male agama lizard is to attract the female lizard for mating purposes this is for emphasis six option c is very correct we have question 29 the activity of tiling is likely to decrease with an increase in the concentration of what? Okay, that's concentration of acid. You know, the tiling is being found in the mouth, the saliva, okay, and it helps in digestion of certain food substance. So by the time this food moves down into the stomach, you know, in the stomach we have concentration, a very good concentration of acid, ACL acid, so conk that it can melt a razor blade. So this is so, so acidic that you should take note that enzymes, they operate within specific pH. So once you alter the pH, the activity gets um, seized, okay, so gets interrupted. So those are one of the properties or characteristics we should know about enzymes. They operate at certain temperature, certain pH and um, certain environment. So you've altered the environment, the pH of that environment. So the introduction of acid causes a decrease in the activity of tiling. Option D is very correct. Don't forget that clicking on the link in the description below takes you to my school website where you can ask your questions right now. And within moments, our solution providers, we get you the answers you've been looking for. So we have question 30 right before us. 
Seed plants are divided into what? They are divided into angiosperms and gymnosperms, okay? These are under seed plants, okay? Talking about the gymnosperms, you know, they bear their seeds naked. They do not um, bear flowers, okay? We have the cycads, we have the conifers, and what have you. Talking about the angiosperms, of course, their seeds are being enclosed in fruits, all right? And they also bear flowers as well. So the splits or the, the subdivisions that we have under angiosperms, they are the monocotyledons and the dicotyledons, okay? So talking about the talophytes and the bryophytes, the talophytes, they are the green algae. The, we are talking about the algae generally, okay? Um, talking about the bryophytes, we're talking about liverworts and mosses, okay? And scientists tend to believe that they are the first land plants. That's for them, okay? So, seed plants are divided into angiosperms and gymnosperms. Option C is very correct. Going through our video clips, perhaps you have better explanations, steps, or ideas you'd like to share with us. Please, we'd like to know. All you just have to do, use the comment section below, indicate the question number and the explanation you'd like to share. Number 31. The adaptive importance of the nuclear flights from termite colonies is to do what? This is to disperse the productive in order to establish new colonies. You should just take note of this. At the onset of raining season, okay, you just see these uh, winged, long winged uh, reproductives. They tend to go off, leave that particular colony where they are, and they tend to go and form a new colony, okay? So as they fall off, their wings also fall off. They move together, male and female. Okay, they dig down the tunnel, then they start mating in about a week's time. And before you know, the male becomes the potential king, the female becomes the potential queen. And before you know it, she starts laying eggs. At first, few eggs, after sometimes as much as 4,000 eggs per day. Okay, so um, doing that, you are going to have a um, lot of casts that is a um, different set of um, termites being given back. So what I mean is that um, being laid as egg, what I mean is that you can have the cast of um, the soldiers, the workers, and what have you. So the core purpose or the real intention for the importance of the adaptive um, nuclear flight from termite colonies is to disperse the reproductives in order to establish new colonies. Option B is the correct option. Question 32. The sequence of the one way gaseous exchange mechanism in a fish is what? Okay, at first the fish opens its mouth, um, expands it, okay, so that the pressure there will be lower, then the pressure outside pushes the water inside, then all of that. The water moves over the gills, that is where oxygen is being tapped from the water. Then you remember the operculum, that is the gill cover, okay? When it's trying to push out the water, then the operculum opens, the water flows out through there. So the one-way gaseous exchange mechanism is just from the mouth to the gills, then to the operculum. Option B is the correct option. Number 33, under nitrogen circle, the nitrates in the soil are converted to atmospheric nitrogen by what? By denitrifying bacteria, okay? They convert this um, nitrate to gaseous nitrogen that escapes to the environment, to the atmosphere to be precise, according to the context of the question given us. And this in turn reduces the amount of nitrogen content available in the soil. Uh, Putrefying bacteria and some fungi, they are responsible for decay. Okay, basically nitrogen fixing bacteria from the name, nitrifying bacteria. So the option that is correct in response to the question given us, in the nitrogen circle, the nitrates in the soil are converted to atmospheric nitrogen by what? By D nitrifying bacteria. Option D is very correct. Number 34. The relationship between a termite and protozoa in its intestine is described as a symbiosis, as a symbiosis or a symbiotic relationship. You know, in a symbiotic relationship, um, you see two dissimilar organisms being engaged um, in a beneficial kind of association. So you can see the protozoa in the intestine of the termite, it gets shelter and food in form of cellulose from the termite, okay? Then it helps to break down this cellulose, okay, and gives out um, other things like methane alongside acetate. It is this acetate that the termite use up Okay, as a source of energy for its daily activity. So, in turn, the termites provide some um, shelter and food. 
then this helps to break down the cellulose okay for the for usage by the termite so that kind of association is symbiosis okay parasitism you see an organism living off the other organism and causing harm to that organism predation that is when a particular organism is hunting another organism for food usually they are prey. talk about uh, cell prophetism okay living off from um, dead or decaying matters so the correct option here is option c for symbiosis number 35 Exoerythrocytic phase of the life cycle of malaria parasites occurs in the where this occurs in the liver of humans. Okay, let's share a simple breakdown of how all of these things happen. You know, when an infected um, female Anopheles mosquito tends to bite human, okay, uh, it releases some um, sporozoites, sporozoites into the body, and these um, sporozoites migrate to the liver. Okay, in the liver they become the trophocytes which uh, moves into the red blood cells and there you see them, they reproduce forming um, the merozoites, okay? The merozoites inv invade other red blood cells, they begin to replicate further accessually, just take note of that accessually. Then some of them become gametocytes, okay? This is gametocyte that is being picked up, okay, by another mosquito. So if another mosquito, female mosquito bites an infected person that has this gametocyte in their body, okay, it picks it up, the gametocytes in the stomach of the mosquito, they come together, that sexual reproduction occurs over there and they form sporozoites. This, so this sporozoites moves to the salivary gland of the mosquito. So this infected mosquito biting another healthy person transmits the sporozoites into the body of the person. The sporozoites moves to the liver, then on goes the circle like that. So the correct option is option A, the liver of humans. Number 36, which of the following organs regulate the levels of water, salt, hydrogen ions, and urea in mammals? Okay, let's just take man for case study. Um, that organ is kidney, okay? Um, the colon, when you mention the colon, what should come to your mind? You're talking about the large intestine, and that typically deals with some um, digestive uh, management, okay? Um, elimination of waste products from the body. Uh, you know, the, the section of all uh, the parts of the colon, we have the ascending, we have the transverse, we have the descending, we have the sigmoid, okay? Uh, the bladder is where urine is stored temporarily, okay? That is how you feel that urge to use the restroom. And you talk about the liver, you know, that's, um, that's helped, helped to protect the body. Uh, it helps to remove toxins, even from drugs, from the chemicals containing drugs that we take. So that's just um, a basic explanation to each of these organs. So going back to the question given us, the kidney is responsible for regulation of water levels, salt levels, hydrogen ions, and urea in mammals. Option A is very correct. We've come to the end of this segment, but there are more video clips to come. All you just have to do is to hit the like button, also click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get informed as soon as we upload the next video clips just for you.